which antipsychotics have the highest risk for weight gain, high cholesterol, and diabetes. All medications have benefits, but they also have unwanted effects. For instance, aspirin can relieve pain, but can also upset our stomach. Similarly, medicines used to treat the symptoms of psychosis can have benefits, such as suppressing voices, making us feel less fearful, helping us tell the difference between what's real and not, and helping us focus on things that matter to us, such as work, school, and family. However, antipsychotic medications can also have unwanted side effects, including putting us at risk for weight gain, high cholesterol, and or type 2 diabetes. In turn, these conditions can lead to heart attack, stroke, and death if left untreated. In this video, we will learn which antipsychotic medications have the highest and lower risks of weight gain, high cholesterol, and diabetes. This video is meant to be used with a worksheet of the same title. When you see this symbol, pause the video and fill out the corresponding section of your worksheet. When you're done, consider showing your worksheet to a professional you trust. Use the worksheet to advocate for yourself so you get the medicine that is safe and effective for you. So to begin, at the top of your worksheet, put your name, the date, and the name of the antipsychotic medicine or medicines that you are prescribed. If you are not using an antipsychotic, you can leave the space blank. When done, press the play button again. Although all antipsychotic medications can put us at risk for weight gain, high cholesterol, and or diabetes, some pose a higher risk than others. The risk is similar whether we take the medicine by mouth or by injection. What researchers know at this time is that the following meds have the highest risks. Clozapine, also known as clozaril or phasaclo. Olanzapine, also known as Zyprexa. Chlorpromazine, also known as Thorazine. And Thyridazine, also known as Melaril. Do all people who use these medicines develop weight gain, high cholesterol, and or diabetes? The answer is no. Not all people will develop these conditions. However, Researchers classify these side effects as being very common if we use these medicines. Very common means almost everyone is affected. If you are on one of these medications, pause the video and circle the name of the medicine you're on. The next group of meds that have a somewhat lower risk are iloperidone, also known as FANAP. Paliperidone, also known as Invega, Catiapine, also known as Cyroquil, and Risperidone, also known as Risperdal. What is the risk of developing weight gain, high cholesterol, and or diabetes if we use one of these meds? Researchers classify the risk as common, meaning many people are affected. Again, not all people will be affected but many will. If you are on one of these medications, pause the video and circle the name of the medicine you are on. The next group of meds that have lower risk are asenapine, also known as saffris, flufenazine, also known as prolixin, haloperidol, also known as haldol, loxapine, also known as loxetane, Perfenazine, also known as trilophon, thiothixine, also known as navane, and trifluoperazine, also known as stelazine. What is the risk of developing weight gain, high cholesterol, and or diabetes if we use one of these meds? Researchers classify the risk as uncommon, meaning some people are affected. Again, 
Not everyone will develop these conditions, but some will. If you are on one of these medications, pause the video and circle the name of the medicine that you are on. The final medicines that have the lowest risk for developing weight gain, high cholesterol, and or diabetes are aripiprazole, also known as Abilify, lorazidone, also called Latuda, and ziprazidone, also known as Geodon. What is the risk of developing weight gain, high cholesterol, and or diabetes if we use one of these meds? Researchers classify the risk as rare, meaning few people are affected. Remember that although the risk is not zero, when compared to other antipsychotics, this group of medicine has the lowest risk of developing weight gain, high cholesterol, and or diabetes. If you're on one of these medications, pause the video and circle the name of the medicine you are on. Now review your worksheet. Are you using a medicine in the highest risk group? Are there medicines in a lower risk group that you have tried before and that were helpful? Are there medicines in a lower risk group that you have not tried before but might be worth talking to your doctor about? If so, pause the video and write down the name of that medicine. Consider sharing this important information with your doctor. This is Pat Deegan. Thanks for listening. The information for this video was abstracted from the On Track New York Medical Manual by Robert Buchanan, MD, Julie Crayenbuehl, PharmD and PhD, Cassis Henry, MD, and Scott Stroop, MD, as well as the Center for Practice Innovations at Columbia Psychiatry, New York State Psychiatric Institute, and the New York State Office of Mental Health in 2015.